This isn't about bringing them back or even exacting some street justice. It's about making that bastard feel what it's like to lose everything. Watch as I take it all away from him. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. This is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. The thing Lincoln didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Donnie and Ellis, you're gonna use the drills to cut a hole up through the bottom of the vault. You and Georgie, you'll be inside. You're gonna drop the money down, then get the hell out of there. That goddamn drill ain't easy to move, though. My father was a lot of things, few of them good. But he started out smuggling moonshine, so he knew about the canals underneath the city and that one of them went right under the Federal Reserve. Hey! Now, I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. <laughs> you tell me it's true. <laughs> Casanova Clay. Shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. you too. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <sighs> How was the trip? Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They're still in that same place. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. First time I saw Lucio, he looked so handsome, dashing, even. Mm. He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. I'll mix some vegetable oil in it. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> no one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before, but Thomas Burke insisted.